<laughs> so I knew patience. Um, at least I thought I did. But you may think you know patience as well. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, <laughs> but you are merely an acquaintance of patience. <laughs> I met patience when I was 16. True patience when I was 16. After having a stroke, being unable to speak, and ultimately being confined to a wheelchair. The relationship I now have with patients is strong, but it did not start out that way. And like many things, well, all things that people become great at, patients was something I had to work at. I was forced to learn patience. Well, because I now live a life where patience isn't asked of me, it's forced on me. Hello, my name is Elijah Bro. That's how you say my name. <laughs> and today I would like to talk to you about patience. However, before we dive into that topic, I would first like to tell you a little bit about who I was and how I got to be the person you see before you today. At 16, I was like any other 16 year old. I thought I was invincible. Well, I guess that goes to show you how truly naive we are at 16. I was a very independent guy, and I didn't like asking for help because, frankly, I felt I didn't need it. I was a swimmer. I played water polo. I was in great physical shape, not like I am now. <laughs> and I was quite the ladies' man. <laughs> and I missed that part of my life. I was the cool, confident, charismatic kind of guy that got whatever he wanted. And you know what? I like that guy. People, wanted to be seen with that guy. People wanted to always be around that guy. People placed that guy on a pedestal. And because I was 16, looks were very important. And so I had the perfect trifecta. I could charm just about anyone. I, my confidence level was through the roof. And I did say I was a ladies man, right? <laughs> Anyways, when I was 15, about to turn 16, I was diagnosed with a cryptic cavernous angioma by a show of fans. How many of y'all know what that is? I guess none of y'all. 
Well, it's a brain tumor. And um, on May 24, 2004, my life was changed forever. I was still the confident, charismatic guy. But remember I said, at 16, looks matter. I no longer had the perfect trifecta of charisma, confidence, and looks. On that day, I received life-saving brain surgery, but it came at a cost. Many things were taken from me that day, some of which I will never get back. Furthermore, it took years of patience to get to where I am today. Now, let's remember, I was only 16 when all of this happened to me. So, looks and what people thought were a big concern to me. I didn't want anybody looking at me and thinking I was an invalid. So, I worked hard to finish school on time and I graduated from MacArthur High School and I took full advantage of the one good thing that aging out of foster care gave me and that was free college tuition for life to any state school that I wanted to go to. So I first started out at San Antonio College where I graduated with my associate's degree in speech communication. From there, I went on to UTSA and got my bachelor's degree in sociology. And people asked me, was it hard? And I replied with something like, it was one of the hardest things that I put myself through. But in doing that, getting those degrees, it was a true test of what I had learned from patients. Now, I'm giving you this speech on patients. Um, how many of you know the definition of patience? Anybody? <laughs> um, well, I'll give it to you. Uh, this is a simple definition because there are quite a few definitions out there, but the easiest one is Patience is the ability to endure difficult situations. Now, I heard that some of you were stressed about not knowing who your CEO was. I <laughs> I don't know if you're still stressed. <laughs> but I am being patient and trusting in others and expecting that good will come from it. It's hard, stressful, and it can take a beer because it is something unknown. Everything I had to relearn came with 
a great deal of stress and fear. But I had to learn to trust in my medical team. So I had to learn to replace my stress and fear with trust and patience in order to be successful in my goals. So if you're still experiencing stress and fear, replace it with trust and patience. It works, trust me. So in closing, I just want to say this. Patience is something that anybody can learn. And I just want to leave you with this thought. Practice patience and you will receive its positive effects. Thank you. Thank you.